All right, thanks for joining again. So look, today what we're gonna get into is how to use automation. Guys, welcome back. Of course, Winning with Blends. If you like what we're doing over here, you know what to do. Subscribe to the channel. Tell a friend, like the video by clicking that button down there, turn on notifications. As a matter of fact, let me go even one step deeper. Guys, leave a comment. I really wanna hear some feedback. I've been getting feedback on the channel, so, Every piece of feedback helps and it really does make a huge difference. So what we're going to do today is talk about automation, how to use automation in FL Studio Mobile. So is it difficult? No. Is it easy? Yes. Is it complicated? Could be. It really just depends on how far you want to take it. So I'll say a couple of quick things before I dive into this instrumental that I'm just kind of working on today for this exact session right here. You could have an like a MIDI controller that has many different knobs so that you can adjust various parameters within FL Studio Mobile. And of course, you can have ones that are directly partnered with ImageLine FL Studio so that you can get uh, very specific knobs and very specific buttons and pads that do certain things within the Fruity, Fruity Loops FL Studio ecosystem. But if you have some other device, you know, whether it be the IL remote, which I definitely recommend, and I'll do another, I'll do a video on that because I definitely use that IL remote because you can add so many, uh, I guess I could say instances, like you can essentially plug in or connect, sorry, virtually uh, wirelessly connect multiple, so many IL remotes. It's ridiculous. I think the number is like 15. I don't, I don't want to exaggerate. I have to check, but I think the number is about 15. So why not get into it and see what we can do with this one to add automation. Okay. Okay. So We've got some sounds here that I don't want to work with. We've got this aya type of sound. Let's see if we can do any type of automation with this one. So let me let me explain how simple it is to do automation. All you do is press record and start moving a knob. I kid you not. So what we're going to do on this one is we're going to record some type of frequency sweep of sorts. So let's drop this one down because I like to typically have my EQs after my dynamic processing. I definitely like to have my spacers and things at the bottom, but it really depends on your workflow and it also depends on your effect rack and what you're, what you're doing with it, right? Uh, there's so many different processes we'll get into uh, with the spacer is when we look at, for example, output mid-side, input mid-side, there's so much you can do. So that really does depend on where you put the spacer, but that's for another video. So what we'll do is, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add, let's say a parametric EQ, okay? And we're going to, let's say, let's drop it like that. Let's see if we can do this, guys. Let's see if we can do this. Let's do it like that. Okay, let's do it like that. And then what we're gonna do is, as a matter of fact, maybe we will use this one. Maybe we'll use this one. Um, perhaps we'll use this one. Okay, I'm actually gonna roll off a bit of the top and we'll use number three as peak. Okay, so watch this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start all over from the very beginning and we're just going to automate this frequency range. Now it might not necessarily be perfect to what we want guys. I want it to be, let's see, let's change the bandwidth, uh, the width of that. So it's kind of pointy. Let's, let's take a listen. That's a little too pointy. That's a bit too pointy. The Q is a little too sharp. So we'll do it like that. Slightly random, but let's give it a try. So I'm gonna press record, okay? And we're gonna sweep this and you'll see the automation coming through. Okay. That was a bit much. But we do want it to be natural and human, humanized. <laughs> Very human, okay. <laughs> There's a method to the madness, I assure you. A method to the madness. 
Okay, so let's go back and let's take a look. So as you can see, we've adjusted the gain EQ uh, frequency equalizer and we adjusted the frequency, as you see, FX equalizer. Okay, so watch this play back. And you'll see the automation going on its own. Let's add the, let's add the um, another sound in there. Okay, let's add a little automation to this one. So I've got a little bit of delay here going on. Let's see. Let's mute this for a second. Let's go back to the top. Okay, let's leave that one. What we're going to do is we're going to add for this one, what type of automation do we want? Let's add, whew, guys, let's add a little bit of distortion to this one. Okay, I've already got a little bit of, uh, you'll see, let me go to the top. I've got some auto deck happening to it because I wanted to give a bit of a pulsing effect, just a little bit. Let me add the drums in. Okay, so we got the drums kind of constantly going. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Maybe we'll try something different, but let's try some distortion. Okay. Now, do we want it to pulse? Let's see how we want it to pulse. I want it to pulse on the offbeat. So here we go. Let's let's do it, guys. Very simple. Just like the last one, we're going to press record and we're going to either turn the knobs on that device you have or we're going to click and drag or swipe, tap and, and slide whatever fingers or, or device with two fingers. It's completely up to you guys. Let's do it. Here we go. Let's see what we can do. kind of accentuate, accentuating the pump a little bit more. Okay, so let's check it out. More pump, okay? All right, now we'll also do one more. Let's actually add the multi-effect. I think we have the multi-effect here, but it does add a little bit of delay, so we're going to actually add another one. Let's move this up. Like I said, personally, I like to let me drop that. Personally, I like to keep my dynamics or my levels in the same category, in the same uh, order. I like to put my compressors, distortion, auto duck up top, and I like to put my my EQ down below, and I like to use other effects again uh, below that. So. Let's add one more quick thing to this one. So let's add some panner. Let's see. Let's drop this down a bit. There we go. And we'll add some more room to this as well. Let's go. Let's, let's record this automation. So panning. Okay, here we go. Okay. Now you can choose patterns here. You can also just, of course, do your own freestyle thing. It just really depends on what you want. I'm doing slight, a bit of a pattern. Okay, a bit of a pattern there, and there you go. So for that, to fill this in just a touch, I'm just gonna add a little bit of reverb, and let's listen. Let's see it. Gonna max that just so we can hear what we're affecting. Ooh, I kind of like that already. So I'll drop that down. I'm actually gonna add a little bit of automation to this too. Guys, we're going in. Let's do it. I'm gonna add automation to the mix. So. High mix. I kind of like it when it's really full. Okay, I like that. So there we go. That's one. Oh, sorry, that's not one. That's actually a couple. As you see, the automation tracks are here and beautiful. You can see those curves right there. Okay, right there. And you can make adjustments right there, guys. You can make, ooh, let's not do that, but you can make adjustments right there. 
it's so beautiful. I, I, I really gotta say it's such a simple uh, process and it makes automation just so much better. You know, it makes your mixes better. It makes your songs better, give, gives them more movement. Uh, let's listen to the whole mix and see what we've got so far. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. So we got drums. Let's see what we can do with the drums. Maybe we can... So the drums are like this. Here are the drums. It's just this snare drum from one of the more recent packs, the, a hi-hat and a snare drum from one of the, again, one of the more recent uh, uh, updates, packs. And then we got a 909 bass drum just underneath it. So with some little bit of distortion. I like this so far. All right, guys, well, look, I'm going to leave it there. I think this is actually a good way to, to end it off. Uh, we could dive a little deeper and show more anima um, <laughs> animations, more automation, but you could see for yourselves, it's quite possible to dive in and, you know, make, make changes as you wish. That's very drastic. I'm just kind of showing you some ideas. Now, one last thing, actually, why don't we just do this super quickly? If we looked at the... Uh, the analyzer, right? We can adjust the settings and let's let this loop reset as it comes back. Let's not be too upset if it takes long. Uh, we just be strong and wait. Don't slack, don't lack. Here we go. So you can see that. We can zoom in and get a little deeper. But one thing I neglected to mention in my previous video was that you can increase the input gain by going to settings and now you can see more of that frequency. Here we go. Let's pump it up. So now you can see more of the frequency. Let's drop it down, right? Smaller. But of course we want to increase it so we can see a little bit more. And another beautiful thing is let's go over here. Uh, since this one's constant, let's add, and you can see the motion. I love it, guys. You can see the motion right there. Okay. Let's go ahead and add another analyzer to this one and let's analyze these frequencies. Now, another cool thing we can do with the analyzer is we can adjust the reactivity so we can make it fast and you'll see how it goes up and down really quickly up and down really swiftly if we go back to settings and we change the slow sometimes we'll see how long it takes to stay up there so we get a chance to observe just a bit more it's like a stamp for you to enjoy um, let's go to medium you can check the left just the left alone so the the analyzer has so much cool functionality simple but really effective um, let's do it guys you know thank you for checking this one out all the best as usual um if you like what you're hearing of course guys subscribe to the channel why not give it a like check out my other channels and drop a comment all right until next time take it easy